Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Steph's out right now, so... What? They told you to come here now? At 4 p.m., really? That's funny. Steph knows that there are club activities until 5. Huh. Well, I'll chalk it up to their bad memory. Would you like to come in? No, really, it's fine. After all, they told you to come at this time and you're here. It would be really rude for me to send you on your way and then for you to just have to come back in an hour. You can come in and wait. I'll make you a snack or something. Really, it's no trouble. Don't worry. Besides, I could really use the company. If you don't mind hanging around an old woman like me, that is. <laughs> oh, aren't you just too sweet? Well, I'm sure you see that to all of your friends' mothers. Anyway, don't just stand around. Come on in. All right, go ahead. Get comfortable. You've been here enough times to know your way around, yeah? <laughs> I thought so. Anyway, what would you like to eat, to drink? I'll grab anything that we have. We have uh, Coca-Cola, I think. And we might have some ginger ale. And then, of course, we have tea and coffee and water. Um, maybe you want a glass of milk? We do have lots of milk. <laughs> do people still drink glasses of milk after they pass the age of five? <laughs> Sorry, that was a joke. I'm actually lactose intolerant, so... We have a lot of lactose-free milk in this house, if you've ever had any. I actually find that I like the taste more than regular milk anyway. Maybe it has something to do with the sweetness. Oh, anyway, I'm just rambling. Go ahead, have a seat in the living room. I'll be right out with something, okay? Ta-da! Just a thing of seven-layer dip and some Tostitos. I figured that was a pretty decent snack. Anyway, I hope you don't mind if I join you. Did you walk over here today? It's kind of cold out there, isn't it? Now that it's turning into fall, and soon it'll be winter. Uh, it's ridiculous. Oh, wasn't that bad? That's good to hear. You don't look bundled up enough anyway. Doesn't your mother chide you about wearing jackets when you leave the house? <laughs> I'm always on Steph's case about making sure that they're bundled up well enough and keeping warm because the last thing you want is to get sick. Then you'd have to miss days of school and you'd be behind and... Well, that's just me being a worrywart. Anyway, how is school? Everything's going well, I hope? Steph doesn't tell me much about it, so I try not to bring it up if I can help it. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I've had some teachers like that when I was in school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that really takes me back. I mean, it's been kind of a long time now, but back when I was in high school, oh my goodness. I was not the model student, I'll tell you that much. I wasn't exactly a delinquent, mind you, but I certainly wasn't getting great marks, and I wasn't the most respectful of the girls in our classes. But uh, that's the past now. It's probably reasons like that I didn't end up going to college. <laughs> Do I regret it? Well, sometimes, but to be honest, I'm pretty happy with where my life is right now, and if I went back and changed anything, I can't guarantee I'd be where I am today. Oh, has Steph not told you what I do for work? <laughs> well, I'm a manager at the movie theater in the mall. It's nothing glamorous, but it has benefits, so I can't really complain. And the hours are 
a lot better than I was getting before I worked there. Yeah, no, I, uh, I actually used to work at a clothing store, but it was a clothing store that was open far too early and stayed open far too late, and ugh, it was the worst. The movie theater is really, really nice, hours-wise. Especially considering I'm a manager, so I'm, uh, not tasked with some of the more nitty-gritty stuff. Though it's far from easy. Yeah, you know, I, I do like it. It's definitely not the most impressive accomplishment for a woman my age, but I enjoy myself. My coworkers and I get along really well, and there's a lot of fun benefits to working in a movie theater. Like, obviously, you get to see movies for free sometimes, and there's special events that they hold, and I get to know all about that. <laughs> Oh, but the, I'll tell you the downside is, I really don't like popcorn anymore. I know, I know. It's just when you're surrounded by the smell of it all day. Oh, God. Just, if I am forced to eat too much popcorn, it makes me sick. Oh, don't feel bad for me. <laughs> We all have to make sacrifices in our daily lives, and I think giving up popcorn is not going to be the end of the world for me. But I appreciate your concern. You're such a sweetheart. Oh, but you know what? Steph hasn't really told me what it is you want to do with your life. I mean, perhaps it's not my business, and for all I know you haven't figured it out yet, but do you have big plans for when you graduate? I have a feeling that the movie theater business is not where your head's at. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that, knowing you, you can accomplish anything if you put your mind to it. And I know that's a really basic thing to say, but specifically when it comes to you, I know it's true. Now, Steph, now don't tell them I said this, but I'm a little worried about them getting into college. It's, oh, Steph's talents do not exactly lie in the academic realm. And perhaps it has to do with the school system being what it is, but I really wish that they just had a little more motivation to get their grades up so that they could have more options, but it is what it is. And again, don't tell them I said that, because at the end of the day, I do believe that anything is possible, especially when it comes to my own child, but, well, just if the right things are going right now, it's starting to look like I may have to bring stuff on at my work instead of sending them off to school. Though, now that I think about it, that doesn't sound half bad. I can't imagine being all alone in this big house. I mean, it's not a huge house, but... I've been a mother for so long, raising a child by myself, and just... To watch that child go off and then be left with the empty nest? Oh, pretty sure I'd be a little bit devastated. Oh, but I, I don't want Steph to worry about me like that either, so please don't mention it. They know that I love them dearly. It's, uh... It's more that I don't want them to think that I'm a helicopter parent or anything like that. Just, uh, raising a child, your life kind of revolves around them to an extent, so seeing them grow up and needing you less and less, it can be very emotional in a lot of ways. I'm proud, for one, because obviously it means I've done my job, if, if they're independent, but... I'm gonna be alone one day. They're going to have their own place, and 
they're gonna visit every now and then and maybe they'll even have kids of their own <sighs> sorry I'm just getting a little weepy thinking about it <sighs> I hope I didn't worry you or make you think too much about your own parents it's something that we all have to face one day and some handle it more gracefully than others Regardless, you're looking a little tired. Is there anything I can do for you? Did you maybe want a cup of coffee? No, no, you're right. At this time, if I had any coffee, I'd probably be up all night too. Hmm. Would you say that you feel stiff? You keep um, rubbing your neck and... Well, I happen to be pretty good at giving massages. Would you like one? Oh, come on, don't be shy. Has your mom never given you a massage before? Oh, hush now. Just sit back and relax, and let me help you. All right, so I need you to at least try to let some of the tension out of your muscles. Just lean back on the couch like that. Good. All right. Now, let me put my hands just on either side of your neck here. And I'm just going to press down. Am I anywhere close to the area that it hurts the most? Up to the right a little bit, okay. And how about here? Mmm, yep. I can feel a pretty big knot in your muscles. You're one of those types of people that carry all their stress on their shoulders. That's no good, you know. You're gonna end up with a bad back before you know it. You really should be careful. What would I recommend? Well, there are some self-massage exercises you can do, but the best thing you can do for your body is to sleep in more comfortable positions and make sure that you have the best mattress and pillow available to yourself, because everyone's sleep is different. Well, if you'd like, I can show you some of the pillows that I have in my bedroom. You can lie back and let me know if they seem comfortable. And if so, I'll tell you where I bought them. Oh, oh no, it's, it's no problem. I don't mind having visitors in my room. Especially not you. Really, it's no issue, as long as you don't mind putting up with a little bit of mess. Anyway, I'm just trying to work out some of the tension by pressing my thumb in... Oh, is that too hard? Sorry, let me uh, ease up a little bit. There we go. And just work it in circles. And you can feel it, right? When my hand runs over this spot. Yeah. Just a tense part of your muscle. But it's okay. Don't worry. Just take a deep breath in. That's right. Do you feel tired at all? If you'd like to take a nap, it's completely fine. I'll wake you up when Steph comes. Really, it's okay. Shh. Go ahead. You can fall asleep just for a little while. I'll be right here. Oh, up again so soon? No, you weren't even asleep for an hour, actually. It's quarter two, so Steph will be done with their club soon, and then they'll walk home, which will probably take ten minutes, so 
You still have uh, 20, 25 minutes to wait. <laughs> Sorry about that. Really? Your shoulder's feeling a lot better? I'm glad to hear that. Well, if you ever need a nice massage, just let me know. I'm always happy to oblige. Really, it's no trouble at all. I really enjoy giving massages. Though if you'd like, I could show you some of those self-massage techniques I was talking about. As well as the stretches that I use so that I don't get as much muscle tension in the first place. It's up to you, though. I know I've been uh, a bit pushy since you got here. And it's not like you came here to hang out with me. Not that I would mind if you did. What? I like to think that we're friends at least a little bit. At least as much as uh, you can be friends with one of your friend's parents. You're a lovely kid. I'm always happy to have you over. And, well, I like to do things like uh, make you food, give you uh, a bit of pampering. By the way, what would you like for dinner? Obviously, those chips and dip you can have as much as you'd like, but that's not a meal, so... I assume that you and Steph will be staying here to eat? I can order food if you'd like. Or I can make something. I'm not a half-bad chef myself. Years of being a single mother has made me pretty good at cooking for a picky kid. Not that you're picky, of course. I just, uh, thought I'd let you know that I have some, uh, serious skills up my sleeve. <laughs> Look at me, trying to brag to a high schooler. <sighs> I'm a bit ridiculous, I know. Well, I do care what you think of me. I want you to respect me, but I also want you to be comfortable around me. So, I, uh... Do you feel comfortable with me here? <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, you are just such a sweetheart. You know what? I think I'm going to make myself some tea. Would you like some tea as well? It is getting kind of chilly out there, so something to warm you up is always nice. Oh, maybe you'd like hot chocolate instead. I have this really nice caramel hot chocolate. Oh my goodness. It is decadent. Out of this world. I can make us both a cup if you'd like. And I might even have some cookies lying around. If you're the type to dunk cookies in hot chocolate, that is. I know I am. Mm-hmm. Well, say no more. I'll be back in a few. Hang tight, okay? All right, and there we go. Two steaming mugs of caramel hot chocolate. It almost makes me want it to be winter when I have hot chocolate like this. Because there's something so cozy about knowing that it's freezing cold outside, but that I'm nice and warm, and that I have all these comforts around me. <laughs> Do you feel the same? Hmm. Well, hurry up, tell me what you think. Or is this still too hot? Do you need me to blow on it for you? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just teasing. I mean, I can if you'd like. <laughs> of course, of course. Sorry, I hope you don't feel like I'm treating you like a small child. I really don't see you like that. I'm just the type of person that really likes taking care of others, so... Having an opportunity like this is, uh... It's a rare treat for me. As Steph's gotten older, they, uh, they want me to intrude in their life less and less, so 
I can't offer to do things like give them a massage or make them hot cocoa. They just roll their eyes and say, Mom, leave me alone. And, well, I get it. I was pretty much the exact same way at their age, so. It is what it is. Regardless, now I have someone else to pamper. As long as you don't mind, of course. <laughs> you like being taken care of? Well, if you'd like, it can be our secret that you come over just a little bit before Steph does, and I'll maybe give you a massage and make you up a snack. How does that sound? It's a win-win situation, if you ask me. <laughs> but I understand if you don't want to go behind Steph's back like that. Yeah? Well, how about I give you my phone number? Alright, sounds good. Here, hand me your phone. You know, this feels strangely flirty. Don't tell Steph I said that, oh my goodness. Oh, my face is bright red, I can't believe I said that. Well, regardless, if, uh, if you ever need some pampering, feel free to give me a call or a text. I'm just down the road, so you're free to visit anytime. <laughs> oh, and, uh, if you'd like to go see a movie sometime, I can sneak you in for free. Of course, yeah, you and Steph, or just you, or maybe you and me. Oh, goodness, I hope I'm not coming off as too pushy. I, uh, I just found it nice to have somebody like you around. Someone that, uh, I enjoy taking care of, but that I also like talking to and listening to. Because, God, some people are just impossible to listen to for long periods of time. But you're different. Oh, is that... I think I see Steph coming. Well, I'm gonna go into the kitchen and pretend that none of this ever happened. And you two have a good evening, okay? And don't forget to text me. Bye. Have fun.